What's up guys, another video, um, just talking about some tips for the rune optimizer because you can just like optimize your runes, but there's also some cool other stuff you can do with it. One of the things I'm using really a lot is like um, grind and enchant stones. So these are located here, stones and gems. And for example, um, I did a raid session like for a couple of hours. And like I got a lot of cool uh, new stuff, but I have this many monsters that it's really difficult for me to say like, okay, this uh, grindstone should be going there or this grindstone should be there. So this is a really cool tool to um, yeah to sort that out. Whoops, click that all away. That's not necessary. Okay, so let's say I sort it on just violent. And I'm going like, okay, where can I put this attack rune? Like, you can see, like, if I have to check, like, all of these monsters where I want this attack rune, that's going to be difficult. So this tool is just checking right away, like, where can you set it? So let's say, hmm, Okeanos, I could use that. So I, I equipped it in-game. Can equip it here. Like, for example, I got a 4. And then that thing is gone, so... And then you can go on to the next one. So like for example, Kumar, maybe give Kumar plus 6, plus 5. I don't want to really upgrade that. Uh, maybe Lisa, plus 5. Nah, not really worth it. Plus 6, plus 5. Until you find like the character that you, or like the monster that you're like, yeah, I can upgrade this. Like this is only plus 3. And finding like these plus 3s in just your, uh, in the game itself, is quite difficult. Also, um... For example, if you do not want to uh, make a new export and just uh, because like you have probably some uh, gems and uh, grindstones in there already, um, a really easy option to create them by yourself is also within here. So for example, if you click on, um, well, let's say I got like a crit rate uh, hero and jump stone. I created the new one and I could just place this somewhere. For example, I could say like, yeah, I would like to would like to equip that. So on this, for example, I got a plus seven. That's really cool, right? This is really something you should use. That's so cool. Another thing is like upgrading uh, plus zero runes with potential. For example, you've been like running a lot of giants and uh, you locked out without like upgrading the plus zero stones. Or the e plus zero runes. And then you're like, ah, oh, shit, man. Um, which runes did I get like new? And you have to click buy all of them. It's like super annoying. What you can do in here is just say it like level zero, highest efficiency. And you can see that I have like 24 of these runes. And you can easily see like, okay, this is like a guard slot three. But you could also find like, for example, if you have like uh, really low runes, like even green runes, you can just set it like uh, quality, and you can just like check it out if that uh, you want to toss them out. This is also like a way to um, get more uh, storage for your runes. Like you're checking like uh, efficiency. Uh, these are pretty shit, but they're fine, so I want to keep them. This swift, uh, it does run speed. Oh, that's okay. This is real rune. Uh, nothing cool about it. I can toss that out. So, for example, this is like a really nice way to uh, organize your rune storage. And also, like, just before rune removal, you can check, like, ah, this rune has quite some potential. It's like high on efficiency. What does it have? Defense and HP? Ah, maybe a good tanking rune. I'll upgrade that one. So, that's just simply by setting, like, the level to zero. And you check, like, only uh, inventory. This is a really cool thing. Another cool thing is like speed tuning. For example, you have like a Bernard. Every speed tuning starts with a Bernard and a Megan. Megan. And let's say a Lucian and a Lucian. So in here you can see um, that they're giving like the speed buffs. And the thing you should look at is like the in game speed. So um, with this speed of a Bernard, I need this speed a Megan to do not be able to get cut. Like 
it's just not possible. So you can also see like my third Lucian is too slow. I would have to bring it up to this. But also, um, if so, the, the thing is like if a monster, uh, like the enemy has nemesis, then you would still be able to get cut. So it only works if they're not nemesising or they're not like in, uh, increasing their attack bar by themselves. But this is like a really cool tool, like for example, to just let a check from Bernard to Megan or let's say a different team, Galleon, uh, and then a stripper, and then a damage dealer. Uh, this is a team I use quite often. And this is also where you see where this team has a problem because my Janna, that's okay. My Galleon is 20 speed to less and my Alicia is 21 speed to less. So that's where you can check it out. Or for example, you can also like use, for example, if I would use this in guild battle, you could also check it out like, uh, what's the speed tuning, what's the order? This is a really cool feature in this tool, so use it. Another really cool thing is creating monsters you don't have. Um, for example, let's check if I have a monster right here that I already do have, but I don't have leveled yet. Um, now for example, this uh, Sea Emperor. I just got it, but I want to check uh, how it's going to be ruined, but I don't have time to six star it yet. You can easily press this button. And it's an awakened 6 star. And now I can just simply, I can optimize it and the base stats, everything is just, it's awakened, it's 6 star, and you can just use it right away. But you could also like, for example, uh, for a mon you, you got a new monster, but you don't want to create like a whole new, you don't want to log out, log back in to get like the new JSON file. And I got a Camila, for example. I really want a Camila. So... I just created my Camilla in this thing. And I can just like run the optimizer on it. So these are like some really cool features that you should use. This is like, maybe there's some more. If you have some more, please leave them in the comments because uh, I think I'm using this tool like quite good, but there's probably some things that I haven't seen or haven't been using that much. So if you see anything, share it with the community. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you at the next one.